You know what happens next? Queen Asia runs. When she hears the story, she runs the pharaoh. And she said, did you, did you murder her and her entire family? She's, she's asking him, like, I know that you're cruel. I know that you've done some horrible things, but tell me you didn't do that. And he says, I did. She was talking about this religion of Musa saying that Allah was her Lord. She said Allah was my Lord. And he began to laugh. And at that moment, Queen Asiya confesses. Queen Asiya says, Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk wa Rabbil Alameen. And this is the moment where he literally orders all of her clothes to be ripped off. He drags her by her hair, hangs her off the balcony. And initially the people are screaming, oh, Pharaoh, this is the beautiful, the queen Asia, the kind, the merciful, the generous, please. And he says, you know what she, you know, you know what she said? And then immediately the people back off and say, oh, Pharaoh. He murders her, subhanAllah. He literally leaves her first in the desert naked for three days, expecting that the animals would eat her alive. And he sends the soldiers to go find her after three days. And when they find her alive, they literally drag her back by the, by the horse. They drag her back. And when she gets there, he's like, you're still not dead. So then he orders a horse to be tied on one side of her and another on the other, and he keeps whipping the horse until it's literally separating her limbs and the skin from its bones. She begins to make a dua that's mentioned in the Quran. She says, my Lord, build with me, build for me with you a house in Jannah. In Surah Al-Tahrim, she meant like, build for me with you a house in Jannah. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala literally shows her in that moment the malaika building her home. She smiles. She smiles. Pharaoh becomes enraged. He says, how dare you? How dare you? I'm torturing you after everything I've done. And you smile? Why you smile? And she says, and save me from Pharaoh and his and his and, and the evil, his evil folks, his evil the evil people who come with me. Come with him. And in that moment, subhanAllah, he's he's so angry that she smiled. She makes this dua, like save me from him, Ya Rabbi. So he then orders a catapult to crush her body. Right before the catapult comes, the catapult's a rock, a stone, a boulder to crush her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes her soul. Now you might be wondering, why do I tell you this story tonight? Because in these moments, what will you do for Allah? What will you withstand to say, Allah, I, won't, I will not deviate from this day. I am, how will you say I'm not concerned about the people? I'm not concerned about their opinion of me. I'm not concerned about my perceived notion of what they might do to me, whether imagined or real. I'm not, I don't care. What I care about is what does my Lord think of me? I'm concerned that I'm going to face my Lord one day. Will my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smell me coming with a beautiful scent, subhanAllah?